In just a couple of months we will be having once again the annual Game Developers Choice Awards and now we have the reveal of the nominees for this year. Now we are seeing some very worthy nominations and to be real with you some kind of head scratching nominations as well. But with all that said, let's go into the actual categories and give some thoughts on who I think should win. The actual winners are going to be announced on March the 1st, so it's going to be a while before we actually find out. So, let's kick things off with Best Audio. We have the nominees of Battlefield 1, Thumper, Doom, Inside, Overwatch, and a few honourable mentions of Uncharted 4, Res Infinite, Hyperlight Drifter, Firewatch, Dishonored 2, The Last Guardian, and Titanfall 2. Now out of those, I would absolutely 110% say Doom. You know, as much as the music and inside was really well done, like very sort of sparse and well used, and I've heard good things about Thumper's music but haven't actually played it myself, Doom's soundtrack is just so, so good, so good, so Doom 110%. Next up is Best Debut. We have Heart Machine for Hyperlight Drifter, Campo Santo for Firewatch, Concerned Ape for Saju Valley, Drool for Thumper, Night School Studio for Oxen Free, and honourable mentions go to the Super Hot Team, Nominous Games for That Dragon Cancer, John Squid Studios for Abzu, Ghost Town Games for Overcooked, and Ink Stories for 1979 Revolution Black Friday. Out of those, well, to be honest, I haven't played most of them. I haven't played Hyperlight or Stardew or Thumper or Oxen Free, so the only one I played is, is Firewatch, so I can't really answer that one because there's only one of them that I've actually played, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. Next one is Best Design, and we have Overwatch, Dishonored 2, The Witness, Inside, Doom, and again, honourable mentions to Titanfall 2, Uncharted 4, Dark Souls 3, and Firewatch, as well as Hitman. Now, this is a really tough one because, well, I played a lot of these games, and they're all really, really good in their own way. What do they mean by design? Level design? Art design? Just overall design? I mean... I would say Overwatch or Doom or Dishonored 2. Any of the, any of the Overwatch, Dishonored 2, Inside or Doom that I've actually played could easily win this. <laughs> They're all really, really good in their own way. I mean, Doom, because the design is just so well realised throughout, but I would also say Inside is that as well. That's a really, really tough one, to be honest. I'm not 100% sure on who I'd actually place my money on there. Next up, however, is the best mobile and handheld game. We have Super Mario Run, Clash Royale, Pokemon Go, Reigns, Pokemon Sun and Moon, and honourable mentions to Mini Metro, Severed, Deus Ex Go, Fire Emblem Fates, Imbroglio, and Swap Sword. Uh, out of those, I'd say Pokemon Sun and Moon because, well, I have not played Clash Royale and wasn't really all that enamoured with Pokemon Go, to be honest, so meh. I was Pokemon say, uh, say Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now next up is the Innovation Award, and one of these nominees is one of the head scratchers. <laughs> so we have The Witness, Inside, No Man's Sky, <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> Firewatch, and Pokemon Go. Honourable mentions to That Dragon Cancer, The Last Guardian, Super Hot, and Thumper. I just want to say, really? No Man's Sky made the list, but Super Hot is, you know, thrown in the trash in with the honourable mentions. I know I'm being a bit facetious, the honourable mentions are not the trash, but you get my point. Really? <laughs> oh dear, I mean, innovation... I mean, I haven't, I haven't actually played it. But I've heard a lot of good things about its puzzle design and just how the overall world feels and the sort of weird narrative within that game. Out of those, I would probably say... Um, I mean, as much as I love Inside and Firewatch, none of them really innovate, really. So, Inside, I guess? Best narrative, however, is being nominated, or the nominees are rather, Last Guardian, Oxen Free, Uncharted 4, Inside, and Firewatch honorable mentions go to That Dragon Cancer, Dishonor 2, Witcher 3, Blood and Wine, Kentucky Route Zero, and Mafia 3. I'm probably going to have to give this one to Inside. I haven't actually finished The Last Guardian yet. I have been playing it over the last sort of week or so, over the Christmas break. Um, but I haven't actually completed it yet because I've just been playing so many games. So the narrative seems like it could be really, really good. But again, I haven't finished it, so I can't really comment. However, our next category is Best Technology. We have Battlefield 1, No Man's Sky, Overwatch, and Doom, as well as Uncharted 4. Honorable mentions go to Inside, The Last Guardian, Dishonored 2, and The Witness. 
And what do I mean by technology? The graphics, I guess? Uh, I mean... Battlefield 1, maybe? Overwatch? I'm not honestly sure what they mean by best technology, to be quite frank with you. However, best visual arts, we have Firewatch, Last Guardian, Uncharted 4, Inside. And we have honourable mentions to The Witness, Battlefield 1, Abzu, Thumper, and Doom. Out of those, it's a tough one. I would go between The Last Guardian, Inside, and Overwatch. Overwatch is probably like the weakest out of those, because even though it looks amazing, does it really compare to Inside or The Last Guardian? Not really, at least in my opinion. Out of Inside and Last Guardian, I'd probably say Inside, so that's my uh, vote there. But of course, Firewatch as well is also really strong, so it's probably between those two. However, our last two categories are Best VR and AR Game. As our first one, and we have Res Infinite, Super Hot VR, Job Simulator, the 2050 Archives, Pokemon Go, and Fantastic Contraption. Honorable mentions go to Thumper, Super Hyper Cube, Batman Arkham VR, Space Pirate Trainer, and The Lab. Not played really any of those, so you know, apart from Pokemon Go, and I installed that after about two days, so no opinion on that one, unfortunately. And our final category is, of course, the venerated game of the year, and we have Uncharted 4. Overwatch, Inside, Dishonored 2, and Firewatch, and an honourable mention given to Doom. Since Doom isn't actually on the list, I'm going to have to say Overwatch, because of course that game was on my personal Game of the Year list for 2016. Oh, and by the way, the other honourable mentions for Game of the Year are The Witness, Battlefield 1, The Last Guardian, and Titanfall 2, but I would still, again, give it to Overwatch. So, there you have it. There are the nominees for the Game Developers Choice Awards 2017. You've heard my thoughts on the nominations, but I'd love to hear your opinions on who you think should win the particularly interesting categories like, for example, Game of the Year. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but thank you very much for watching. Your support is always appreciated, and I'll see you next time.